Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, we've just got to walk it up a wee bit now. The creator is in the back. Creating. We've eaten, we've been to Perth. We're walking out. We've been all over the place this week. We've been to a car boot sale. I've just bought nothing but a can of Monster. But it's half one and we've been up for a whole day. Yeah, totally. Half one. We're now going to North Queensbury. South Queensbury. Well, we're going to above North Queensbury and then going to South Queensbury. Ages to get to the bridge, and we're kind of at the bridge, and it's slow, which might mean I've had a chance of getting quite a, a nice little well, assuming you can see over the side of this bridge. Yeah, the sea life section is great in the middle, isn't it? Which is simultaneously great and terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's totally. There's conflicting reviews, <laughs> and at the exact same time, you went, it's great, you went, it's shite. So, I think it's just middling, probably somewhere in the middle. Really. I probably enjoyed it because the kids enjoyed it when I was there. Yeah. Five stars, one star. Yeah. Give it a three and a half then, on average, yeah. from the reviews of the two people that have been in here. Yeah, she's only given that review because she probably think it didn't get a signal when she was down in the basement. Ah, that's sexist. Signal? Yeah. You're, you're implying I wouldn't be on the phone. Not just a woman, I'm implying Jane. <laughs> and gets him so upset he phones you back an hour later and says don't call me that again yeah. <laughs> that's the one you want yeah. or you mention it Yeah, that's the 
the fourth road bridge there, and then this is the new fourth road bridge, which is, I don't even know, does it have a name? You could have called it something interesting. It's quite impressive, I mean, it's quite... I did see a rib. I don't know if it was a rib. Aye. My, uh, okay, not my boat now, but the dashboard of my boat now was to have, did two years as a rescue boat. That was when I got it off. Well, the boat, but the boat disintegrated and the engine obviously sort of replaced. But the dashboard is from that original boat, as I remember. Easy Rider spent two years. Easy Rider. Suspension Street. Obviously, used to be a pirate smuggling town, clearly. No, it's a big tanker. It's a, it's a tanker. Not a waxy tanker, just an actual tanker. Big container ship was what I meant to say, not tanker. Right, it's past it, right here. Because here is it, we're going further down, Jennifer. Well, just towards the bridge, yeah, if you want to go further down, right, because right. we can actually get closer to the bridge, just keep <laughs> Shaky. Echo paint nights. Mm -hmm. That's good. Healthy amount of defenders kicking about. That's really close then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel private today. Yeah, but if we go back, then we'll just, what we'll do is we'll just park. 
park and go down on the beach. Just park on the coastal. Just park here somewhere. Oh, I don't know, maybe further along or a bit, not far along. Or might be a better one. That one. I don't see anything wrong with being there at all.
this in 12, you took 12 necks, not necessarily matching bodies and necks. So we were looking at it, but it's basically just guitars that were kind of beyond economical repair. So I think maybe if a guitar comes in and the body's smashed, the neck is taken off and put in a bit in a bucket. Or if the neck's broken, the body gets put in a bucket and the bits get stolen off or something like that. So I think these were maybe 10 or 15 years worth of... Should probably throw that away, but it might be useful one day type things, you know, like a, like a telly neck. It's like, well, it's not really worth selling, but it's worth having. Um, so in that belly, you got, I don't know, like five probably Squire-ish straps, bodies. There's a Telecaster, uh, a small body base, kind of like an Ibanez ERG or something, but not an Ibanez. And what else is there? There's a Super Strat, which I think might be that pearl white, the Japanese pearl white, or from the 80s anyway. I don't, when, as I said, I don't think it's got a. I don't think any of the necks and guitar and bodies are from the same guitars. So I mean, they can be made to fit. You know, I'll be shim here and I'll be, I'll be shave here, so I think. Shim a bit, shave a bit. Tweak a bit. Pop, pop, yeah. Um, there's some fun stuff in there. It's quite funny looking through it, but it's just to see it. So that's a Jackson neck. It's got a chip at the top of it. Look at it, it says Ben Japan in the back. It's got the fuck, fuck, just Ben Japan on it. Unfortunately, Jen saw that first. <laughs>
thing happened the other day with a, with a lovely guy in Scott respects in a, was setting up a strat for, I think it was a postman, it was dressed like a postman, maybe some sort of fetish, but prob probably most likely a postman. Get around, ah, oh, it's bad alcohol. <laughs> so that's, that was, when was that? Thursday. Recognised twice in one week. It's alright. Although Jen did get noticed at the, the car boot sale. Some guys are, like, you know, with you three here, there's not going to be any guitars left. <laughs> We're like, what? Oh. I was talking about the guy from um, the. I'm probably going to end up talking about this in the live stream. The guy from the guitar shop who gave, gave us a big pile of bodies and necks. And he was telling us a bit about when uh, the Beatles went through the guitar shop after they played the venue next door because of all the screaming kids. So they kind of went underground through the basement and up through a different street. Um, so we went down the same corridor as the Beatles. And he was talking about Jed. I don't want to talk to him for ages. The guy, it was quite funny, I think. I kind of knew what to expect. We were obviously were arriving in a, a camper van and we parked around the corner and walked the wrong way and all that. So we walked up five, or five minutes along the road the wrong direction and turned around, came back, three of us were walking up the road shouting each other, complaining about his phone wasn't working and all the usual stuff. So I'm where is this guy? I'm still looking up at this. It's got that, is it? But that guy there standing in the middle of the road waving and the guy was pissed himself laughing. He was obviously thinking this is going to be a bit mental. Turned up and I don't think he was disappointed. He was there's a permanent smirk in his face all the time when James talked to him for ages. He just got looking at the tars for fun. I think he got his money's worth for a for a donation. <laughs> probably he maybe had to probably had to go home for a wee sleep after the talk to him. But he was um he trained as a guitar repair mechanic working for John Birch. Monster, fucking £2.50 each of £2.50 for the cabbages. So 
so I didn't, as, as a result, I didn't have any money. I didn't have any drink, so I, I drank the, the bottle of old Scott. And I seemed to get pissed off. I think everyone seemed to get a bit pissed off. It was kind of weird. I'm not pissed off with it, just like the fumes of alcohol and, and it's just small confined space. And I, of course, I went, how'd you go on last night with the rain? It was like, rain? Did it rain last night?
we just get water, didn't we? We need juice. Any interesting bits of well 